after an accident of an 8 year old patient, the dislocated central incisors were reimplanted and stabilized using a TTS splint. After endodontic treatment of the upper incisors, an adhesive splint made of high strength zirconia ceramic was inserted to ensure the preservation of the fragile teeth. Three years later, the roots of the anchorotically healed central incisors had mostly resolved and the aesthetic appearance of the now 12 year old patient was severely compromised due to the tooth discoloration and gingival overgrowth into the cervically resorbed natural tooth crowns. Since the splinting of the lateral incisors and their roots were intact, it was planned to remove the crowns of the central incisors and replace them with ceramic pontics. The natural tooth crowns were crowned down to small remnants on the splint using diamond burrs, while the remaining tooth and lutic materials were air operated with 50 micrometer lumina particles under rubber thumb isolation to avoid damaging the zirconia ceramic surface with the diamond burrs. Additionally, a veneer preparation was performed on the rotated left lateral incisor. After the removal of non resorbed tooth remnants, provisional pontics were inserted. Nearly two weeks later, digital impressions were taken. The two pontics and the veneer were fabricated from lithium desilicate ceramic and fitted well. After another try in under rubber dam isolation, the bonding surfaces were specifically conditioned. The lithium desilicate ceramic was etched with hydrofluoric acid for 20 seconds followed by thorough rinsing and drying. And finally, silane application. The bonding surfaces of the zirconia ceramic rings were colored with waterproof paint and then air operated with 50 micrometer alumina particles until the entire color was removed, ensuring that the entire bonding surface was freshly air operated. A phosphate monomer containing primer was applied and the pontics were bonded using a dual polymerizing rooting resin. After removing excess rooting resin, it was light curved. The veneer was then inserted in a conventional manner. After checking function, the patient was instructed how to clean the pontics with dental floss. The patient and his family were very satisfied with the improvement in aesthetics and function achieved through this minimally invasive treatment approach.